Hey guys, it's T here and today I am, I don't know if it's really touchy but I feel like it's going to get touchy. Today I'm doing challenges dating as a black woman in today's society. So by media and just, just everything we have been labeled as hostile, threatening, intimidating, argumentative. Like those things really had a huge effect on how people see us in society and it's just not okay. Next one is being a fetish for some men. Yeah, I know it might sound weird, but it's really, it's honestly a thing. Some men see black women as exotic. So I also asked a few people, a few black women, uh, challenges of dating. One was being the last one picked of the group or not being picked at all. So that's that's never a good feeling. That's like when you're in like middle school and y'all about to play a game in gym and they pick everyone but you, like you're the last one picked. Like, no, and that's only because somebody had to pick you. Me to the next one is when it comes to dating inside my race, and if I'm standing next to a light-skinned woman and it's me, a black man is most likely going to go after that light-skinned woman compared to me. I can number five would be, would be being seen as not the cute one because of the color of your skin. The next one is not being good enough. Ooh, that one is, that is a hard pill to swallow. Ooh, that, that really touched me. But not being good enough for someone and or being too loud or too ghetto or too dark it is dating as a black woman. We are always judged off our skin complexion than rather than somebody actually getting to know us and judging us off of who we actually are. Our own men in our community, our own black men going on media, social media, media, whatever it is, and putting us down. Do not come on here bashing black men. I don't say they, they're they this and they're that and they're not good. You know, like, I don't say any of that when I come on my channel. I simply just talk about black women and white men, literally. So when I go on social media and I see, like, men of my community just down talking dark skin black women is literally so freaking hurtful and you guys are my witnesses go and look under my first video of why black women date white men if you can see how much hate i got in that video i mean on that video from just doing that from a number of black men then you will understand i'm not saying all black men are like this it's just the ones that are like this, they're in the spotlight and they're making a bad name for the good black men, the genuine black men, the black men that actually love black women. But another thing is when you do find black love and it's true black love, there is nothing else compared to that. There is no other comparison to that. And I will have to admit that. I've seen a few people, like one of my best friends, her parents are married, both black. They have been married for years and... That honestly, it's like you don't a haystack. It literally is to find a black man and a black woman who are married, absolutely love each other, and it's no shenanigans, no cheating, none of that is, is freaking amazing. And and that I think that's what hurts the most when it comes to black women and black men having, putting each other down, like throwing shots at each other, throwing it's just. Ooh, it's really aggravating. Like, I don't want to elaborate on this subject. Hopefully somebody else will. And if maybe I will in the future, but right now I'm not elaborating. We are the least likely to get married. Not wanting to date. Not wanting to date outside our race because of the racial tensions between us and other races or us and white people. So black woman presence on media is not good. The way social media perceive black women is so bad that it has spread it throughout, throughout the world. And that is why we are seen as all these things. First examples of two women with their babies. Obviously the black woman is single and then a white woman has her husband by her side. 
The next picture you'll see is Serena Williams being portrayed as an angry black woman because of the referee. It was a bad call on the referee part. Another thing I will say is that we are very misunderstood because for some reason when we talk, we are very passionate. We get very passionate about whatever it is we're talking about. No matter what it is, we can get so passionate about it. Definitely. We just talk very passionately. So sometimes that can be um, misunderstood as aggressive or or intimidating when it's really not we're honestly just talking to you and there's that's literally just it we're just trying to have a conversation with you or tell you our feelings or whatever and a lot of times I just get miscommunicated between us and other people so even amongst each other that gets um uh, that get miscommunicated if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up and follow me on my social medias I will be right here thank you guys for watching peace out